Hi there. Today we are looking at how to create the infinite zoom effect for free. Let's zoom in. Go to clipdrop.co and click on Try for Free. Once you're in, click on Tools and select the Uncrop tool. Drag the image you wish to use for the effect. If you want to create an image, select Stable Diffusion XL from the Tools menu and type in your prompt for a desired image. If it is a square image like this, generate the edges to make it a wider image. Select your favorite and click Download. Now go back to the Uncrop page, drag and drop the downloaded image, resize to your liking, and click Next to generate a wider image from the one you just downloaded. You'll do this a few times depending on how many images you want for the effect and how long you want the effect to last. Remember to rename the images in the correct order starting from renaming the first image as 1, the second as 2, and so forth. Once you're done, drag all the images into Premiere Pro or any editor with which you can edit the scale and opacity with keyframes. I'm using Premiere. Once in Premiere, Arrange the clips on the timeline according to their order, starting from one to the last, which is five in this case. As you can see, I have my clips labeled. Now drag these clips to the top video track. Move the fifth clip down to the bottom video track, and copy clips two to four to the track below, where you just dropped the fifth clip. You want to have one to four on the video track or layer above, and two to five on the video track below. Click on the first clip and go to the effects control panel. Set a keyframe of 100 for the scale at the beginning of the first clip. Move to the end of that clip and set the scale to 50. Go to the beginning of that clip and set another keyframe for the opacity at 100. Move to the end of that clip and set the opacity to zero. Now copy these keyframes by clicking on the timeline on the effects control panel and click select all. Copy and paste this to all the clips on the top video track. Some may need manual adjustments. Once you're done for all the clips, Go over to the bottom video track, select the first clip, which is 2, in this case. Go over to the effects control and set the starting keyframe for scale at 200. Move over to the end of this clip and set the end keyframe to 100. Now do this for all the clips on this video track by copying and pasting the keyframe effects like we did in the top video track. Once you're done, you'll have the infinite zoom effect. Subscribe.